Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and I'm going to be doing a beautiful reading for you today. Actually I'm going to be doing two. I'm going to be doing this card right now and this one later on today. So if you would like to be part of that, please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to all. I also have Patreon memberships and memberships on YouTube which are the same. They offer the same benefits. It's whatever platform you prefer and it's going to have extra videos not available here that are readings of a more personal level and to help you spiritually on your path. Um, so if you just want the videos with the readings, well, you're in the right place. And if you want more, it's all in the description box below. So I invite you to go look at it. Thank you to the new people who have joined. Thank you for the response. It's been wonderful. You are starting to kind of filter in and I'll join in. And um, I needed to remind you though that the videos that are going to be posted, it's going to be on the community tab. So check on the main page all the time because they, they pop up as uh, videos that are unlisted. Okay, so that I can offer them to both platforms. So please make sure to check that regularly and check all the posts for members only. And you'll see that all the videos are posted there. All right, so we have the new moon in Libra. Know you are loved. Today is the day of spiritual guidance. It's a wonderful time of love. We have been working on our heart center a lot, thinking from that center rather than the mind uh, center. So we have been focusing more on how we feel, looking out from the chakra of the heart. And it's to rebalance everything else, Pisces, really. It is. Libra is about balancing things out. And spiritual guidance is saying that this is going to serve you well in matters of relationships with others or situations. When you are more balanced, chakra-like, or just energetically to, uh, to, to be more precise, you feel more things when they are out of alignment. In other words, people or places or situations when they're really out of alignment with you, you're going to get to feel it really intently. You'll know, ooh, there's something that's not working here. And you'll be able to spot it a lot faster than you were able to before when it comes to the matter of people. You'll be able to gravitate to people who want to share, give, and support you in love. And that will feel and uh, contribute to your life a lot better and bring you back into balance than always giving your attention to people who are sucking the energy out of you, okay? Goes with situations, career, and everything else in your life. Okay, so we're going to pull a card. I'm using this week the Chakra Wisdom Oracle. I'm also using the, what's this one called, the Soul Truth, well I'll be using this afternoon. Um, this, this is from the Moonology Oracle. All of these are available um, in the description box below. There's a link that has all the decks and their affiliate links. Okay, you have Perseverance here that wanted to show. Yeah, this has a Nine of Wands feel to it, but it didn't come out. I'm being very, I'm, I'm being very like, please take out prayers. Your prayers being answered. I do feel that your ship's coming in, Pisces. Okay, so this one definitely came out. Instinct, right. Okay, so I liked the card of instinct. It's saying to me that your instinct, instincts are honed in. That's exactly what I was talking about. You're feeling like you are getting hits a lot faster. You may think like a, for a lot of readers I've heard is saying, oh, you're really in tune with your intuition and you're getting a lot of hits and things are coming in and you feel like, you know, you're really in tune right now. But the thing is, is that you are, but you caused it by uplifting your energy uplifting your energy. Such a wonderful thing because as soon as you can work on that, um, even if you don't perfect it, 
as soon as you're working on always uplifting the energy, you get a lot more hits because you get to be in tune with your angels and your guides. Um, well, I would say, you know, for me, it's 24-7, but it's like there's never a disconnect. And this, if you want to be, a lot of people say, that's, isn't that hard on you? No. No. Angel and guides have uplifting energy. They don't have a sucky energy. They're not negative beings. They're not past humans who have passed on. Um, I've recently found out that people who do mediumship and talk to people who have passed, uh, that can be because if they have that energy from their bodies from before, um, they're still dealing with stuff because ultimately they're they're still students who came to learn and went back, okay? But angels and guides don't necessarily have had a human experience. They're the energy that follows you from one lifetime to the next. They're here to help. They're here to uplift. They are very protective and loving. And to be connected to them all the time is a wonderful, wonderful thing. I'm not saying to be channeling, but to be connected to them. So... If your energies, if, if your, um, yeah, your alignment is really, you're honing in on it, your instinct to pick up things that don't feel well in the human, the physical realm, become very acute. And I feel that's what's coming in. You are getting very acute in what you're feeling. You can spot things probably a long time off. Sometimes before they even arrive or get in, you somebody can say something and you'll get a hit. And you'll wonder, why am I getting a, ooh, no, hit? Is it because of past conditioning? And a lot more times it'll be a no. It'll just be, uh, this isn't really in the wave of where I want to be. So you get to look at it impartially and and realize that you've gotten a hit that maybe, you know, there's there's a, there's a stinky cheese here somewhere. Was it <laughs> there's something that stinks? Was it there's there's a saying about uh, stinky cheese? Was it there in Denmark or I don't know? Please just bypass this part. Okay, so we're gonna pull some cards. Your instinct is dead on right now. It's really tapping into what you need. Because you've opened up your heart center, because you've balanced out your energy. So spiritual guidance is telling you. Yeah. When something's up, you'll know it. You'll feel it. Your instincts will kick in. You have the Queen of Pentacles showing herself in the deck. Okay. That nurturing. That beautiful energy. King of Wands. So funny because yesterday I mistook the King of Pentacles for the King of Wands in my mind. I re-listened to the video and realized that I never said King of Wands. But in my mind, that's the way I was seeing him. So, the King of Wands does eventually show up. And to be a leader in your life, to be energetically, uh, have taken the lead in balancing out your energy, is some one of the greatest gifts that you can do for yourself. Because it not only gives you courage, it gives you energy, it gives you clarity and strength. It makes you brave and it makes you self-assured in your life. You tap into that inner strength that really is, you doubt yourself a lot less. So having this energy center being balanced is a great big gift to yourself because you can take steps in your life and regardless of what happens, you're not questioning or feeling bad. You know that everything's a blessing and a gift in life and everything that you move forward in is... Um, helping you move in that direction is helping you get your heart's desires okay you're working on um you're always working on your next wishes and as soon as you bring them forward 
you're already there. You're already blessed. You already feel the happiness of the success that you're giving your energy to. And it makes you feel really good. It's a really good thing. It's a balanced thing. Um, they're showing me like dominoes falling, which means it's it's um, it's a domino effect. In other words, um, all the work that you're doing has a domino effect in the most wonderful and positive way. Okay. It's all a good for a good. You had the Emperor, and I know he bounced out this way, but he did come out, he just hit my arm. So, um, the Emperor is going to be coming out this afternoon's reading, he's right here. This one has the chess pieces in his hand, and he has a lot of energy, this, this connection to spirit we're talking about, do you see it? It's not only connected to him, it's connected to the chess piece that he's holding. When you don't feel alone in your decisions, and when you feel like you can trust yourself in the decisions that you make, you're ready to step into the power, and you're ready to step into the decision. That's, that's one of the biggest things that happens with having um, the courage and also the personal power in believing in yourself, the inner strength and the self-assurance. It's not that you'll never make a mistake. It's that you're ready to take the chance at success. Not to take a chance that maybe you'll fail, that you'll take a chance at living your life. And it's maybe an understatement, just saying it in words, but the feeling of it, if it can be captured, is something beyond words. It's, it's beyond... It's beyond anything. Sometimes you do things and they come true, and you're still sitting there going, really? And when these things start to happen, you start realizing that it's not that the dreams can't come true. It's that you have to decide what you really want. And you're at this part, Pisces. What do you really want? And how to measure it, not in degrees of, of success or failure, but of fulfillment. Okay, what do you really want? And go for it. You are the one guiding the ship. And the stability that you feel, it's the one that's instilled inside of you. the harmony it's a commitment to you it's cooperating with the rest of your energies to believe in the choices that you make to trust yourself and commit in, in your well-being no matter what that every step that you take Whatever happens, you know that you are taking them in stability. You're sure about your path. And that's is that you actually have one. That every step you take is your choice, your life. There's a lot of peace here. There's a lot of harmony. There's a lot of love coming through. 
We have the word love a lot. In case you were wondering what's happening, what's the meaning of this, it really is at the heart center of you. You have the King of Swords, beautiful air energy. If anything, what you should do right now is take a look at the energy from a higher view. Of seeing it for what it really is and what it will bring into you, Pisces. Again, Page of Cups. Bring to you. This is you, Page of Cups. Okay. Alright, these came out all together, so... Page of Wands, Ace of Wands, Eight of Cups. What's happening here? Taking a chance. Doing it in joy. Embracing challenges. Seeing new things. Being impulsive enough and fearless enough and childlike enough and optimistic enough and trusting yourself that you're using this newfound energy that is balanced to meet the goals that you want. It's got a lot of the energy of the fool here. And to embrace new ideas, every single one has the potential for so much more. And finally, finally, leaving behind the stuff that didn't work out without regret and walking towards something else the sun that's rising knowing that it'll rise again tomorrow and the day after to meet you, to greet you in your new endeavors to help you find the path that you're supposed to be on there's a lot of love in this reading, Pisces. There's a lot of understanding. But at the core of all of this is the hard energy that you've opened up. Especially in the last month where we were talking about just that. Is making your instincts extra keen, extra sharp at focusing on the things that don't match up to you. It's given you a great boost in seeing all of your blessings. And that everything is a blessing. Everything that you choose to bring in your life right now, Pisces, is a blessing to you because you chose to bring it in. Your free will, your path. Moving forward in unity and harmony. Your steps are sure. Even if you don't know where you're going, you know that the step that you took is one that you decided to take. Nobody else made that choice for you. You did. You're looking forward to all the new adventures and all the new ideas that are coming in. And you're not looking back on anything. The spiritual guidance is you are on the right path, especially if you are practicing all of these things. This is where you're meant to be. This is where you mean to be working at that self-insurance, that love to keep you connected to your Intuition, the intuition that links you to your guides, that helps you move forward, that gives you all that beautiful, powerful, peaceful energy to move forward. I'm sending you lots of love, light, and blessings. Why don't you write in the comments, I have love within my center. There you go. I have love within my center. So I think that's the real message here. That alignment of the center has opened up so many roads for you. And I will see you later for the second reading. Take good care of yourself. Bye for now.